One of the most important things in brand building is to recognize that the ultimate aim of a brand is to create enduring relationships with customers. My name is Catherine Gaho. I've spent many years as a trainer and researcher in the field of marketing. Thank you for tuning in and let's talk about how to maintain customer relations during the global crisis. The crisis is new to all of us and is affecting every sphere of our lives, causing anxiety everywhere. The challenge of maintaining relationships with our customers at this time is complicated. Complicated by social distance, curfew, and all those big words that have been used to capture this crisis around the world. So the question is, how do you maintain customer relations? In my view, business relationships are just like personal relationships. People buy from people. In fact, research shows that people buy from people they like. So just like we have to invest in building relationships and maintaining relationships in our personal relations with friends, our loved ones and buddies, we have to do the same with our clients. As they say, customers decide with their emotions but justify their choices with logic. A strong relationship is an important differentiator for a brand during times of crisis. Now the five tips to build customer relationships. First, keep in touch. You must communicate. You need to maintain visibility and to connect with your clients at this time. This is not the time to go missing in action. You need to keep the lines of communication open. Social distance does not mean a total lack of communication or interaction. Actually, what we are asked to limit is physical distance. I don't even know why they call it social distance because you are asked to limit the distance between yourself and someone else in the physical sense, but socially, you can still interact through technology. So you need to keep the connection. Call them, email, text, use WhatsApp, do Zoom, do anything you can to keep communicating. Ask, how are you doing? How is your business doing? How is your family? And things like that. Let customers know that they can reach you if they have important and urgent needs. Let them know how to reach you. The second is to show concern. We should show genuine concern and listen with empathy to our clients by paying attention to their words, their feelings, and listening to find out how they are affected this time and what they really need. How can we be of help? It's a famous poet, Maya Angelo, who said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. This is something to keep in mind during this period. And that's why it's so critical to build a relationship. It's so true for our loved ones, our friends, and customers as well. At this time, showing you care will build share of heart for your brand. Third, humanize your brand. In these days, when we are using technology so much, people are craving human touch. Now, given the limits of human touch with the rules of social distancing, you need to innovate around engagement. You need to show that you understand the anxieties customers are facing. You need to balance the high tech with some touch. Ask, how can I engage in a meaningful human way? One way to engage in, in a human way is to be authentic. Be open and admit your challenges and weaknesses too. This will make you appear more approachable. Being vulnerable actually makes you appear more normal, more human and more approachable. I find a line in the song by the group We Are Messengers quite appropriately captures this. It says, you are not alone. I don't have the answers and maybe that's okay but we can search together. Maybe that's what we are called to do, together, to search for answers. Fourth, be responsive. Responsiveness is key in showing you are caring partner, especially in these days of uncertainty and high levels of anxiety. You need to reorganize your business to respond to the current challenges, find new ways to serve. You're required to anticipate and respond to questions even before they are asked. You need to anticipate and ask yourself what kind of problems are customers having? What questions do they have in mind? What are their areas of pain that I can relieve? Ask, what can I do now? What matters now? Because so much has changed 
there has to be new performance indicators. Ask, how can we ease our customers' worries? I like the way my bank has come up with options to ease the burden for customers by offering payment holiday, restructured payments, and also making it easier for customers to opt in. Finding easy methods to allow customers to take advantage of these offers. Fifth, improve your online presence. You have to use social media to engage your customers and share information on what's happening on both sides. That is their side and your side. Use it to understand your customers better, learn how they are interpreting things, use it to update them on what you're doing, about your services, what's possible now. Given the new changes and the restrictions of curfew, social distance and the like, people don't know what's possible. Tell them what is possible now. How can they get what they need? Show acts of kindness. Nobody has all the answers, but by sharing openly, you build trust. Let me close by quoting the song When We Stand Together by Nickelback Band, which says we must stand together, hand in hand. That's when we all win. So true at this time. So we better stand together with our people. Let me recap. The five tips to build customer relations are one, keep in touch. Two, show concern. Three, humanize your brand. Four, be responsive. And five, improve your online presence. Those are my five points, the things I believe that you need to do as this epidemic continues to create a challenge of interaction among people. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and press notifications so that you can be notified of other relevant videos. Before I close, I have a question for you. What action will you take in the next few days to build your relationships in these changing times? Thank you very much and best wishes.